we usually talk about Ethernet frame. However, for the actual data transmission, Ethernet frame is encapsulated in an Ethernet packet like this. You can easily figure out that this is the Ethernet frame. And in the Ethernet frame, this is a header and this is a trailer. Let's find out the detail in this lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about all the fields in an Ethernet packet. Then we sum up our lesson with the keynotes. Let's start off with the preamble signal. In this diagram, we have two Ethernet hosts, PC1 and FTP server. PC1 now is ready to send Ethernet frames to the FTP server. Before sending an Ethernet frame, PC1 sends a preamble signal, which is a series of seven bytes pattern of alternating one and zero bits. The preamble signal plays two roles. It informs the FTP server that PC1 is going to send an Ethernet frame to the FTP server. It makes the FTP server calculate how long it takes for each bit to go from PC1 to the FTP server. From there, the FTP server synchronizes its clock with the PC1s. After receiving 7 bytes of preamble signal, the FTP server now expects to receive the start of frame delimiter or SFD. The SFD is the 8 bit value of 10101011 that marks the end of the preamble and indicates the beginning of the Ethernet frame. As you know, the SFD signifies the fields that follow are the 6 bytes destination MAC address, which identifies the intended recipient of this frame. In our example, it is the FTP server. And after the destination MAC address is the 6 bytes source MAC address, thus identifies the sender of this frame. And in our example, it is the MAC address of the PC1. We will have a separate lesson for MAC address. After the source MAC address, the FTP server now expects to receive the type field. The type field identifies the type of network layer or layer 3 packet that sits inside the Ethernet frame. Today, the most common network layer protocols are both from TCP IP, IP version 4 or IPv4, and IP version 6 or IPv6. After the type field is the data field. The data field is the entire data packet from network layer. The minimum size of data field is 46 bytes. Padding is needed if the data is less than 46 bytes. The maximum size of data field is 1500 bytes. The last field in an Ethernet frame is the frame check sequence or FCS. Frame check sequence defines a way for nodes to find out whether a frame bit changes while accrossing an Ethernet link. Here is how it works. The senders apply a complex math formula to the frame before sending it. It then stores the result of the formula in the frame check sequence field. The receiver applies the same math formula to the receive frame. The receiver then compares its own results with the sender results pulling from the frame check sequence field. If the results are the same, the frame does not change, otherwise an error occurs and the receiver discards the frame. Please note that the error detection does not also mean error recovery. 
Ethernet defies that error of frames should be discarded, but Ethernet does not attempt to recover the lost frame. As you know, FCS marks the end of an Ethernet frame. After that is interpacket gap. Interpacket gaps is idle time between Ethernet packets. After a packet has been sent, transmitters are required to transmit a minimum of 96 bits or 12 bytes of idolized state before transmitting the next packet. As you can figure it out, interpacket gaps marks the end of an Ethernet packet. For the keynotes, let's read the information given in the field column and think about its description. After that, we will show the description for us to read 